Hello to you once again. Uh, this video concentrates on Damiano, Pedro Damiano, who was a Portuguese chess player, and his book entitled, This Book is to Learn How to Play Chess and Games, published in Rome in 1512. I'm drawing on all of this through the translation in April 1813 by Jacob Henry Sarratt. And it's quite interesting because this particular game, which lasts 14 moves, features the Damiano defense, which is regarded as unsound, and, and you will never see it in modern plays, as simple as that. Mikhail Chigorin tried it at the latter part of the 19th century, and uh, he got away with it on one occasion, but he should have been checkmated in about a dozen moves in that particular game if, if his opponent had found the right line. So what we'll do, anyway, is we'll go back to 1512, translation 1813, and see what we make of this. The game in question begins e4, e5, knight f3, and for those of you that are not familiar with this, well, that is the Damiano defence to the King's Pawn opening, where white essays two knight f3. Now, you're not forced to take the pawn on e5, but it is given an exclamation point by most players. It's as simple as that. It's an easy way to make progress in this position. Black's defence really is, it's full of holes, isn't it, quite simply. He's already weakened his king side to an unbelievable degree. He really has no option but to take the knight, which he does. And of course, it's pretty easy to see what white is planning here. Just a quick look at that. Well, yes, the floodgates have opened, haven't they? Queen h5. Now, black can, of course, play g6 here, but that's open to the objection of queen e5 and picking up the rook. So, in this, Damiano chooses king e7. Any good? Not really, because white plays queen e5 check anyhow. So what happens now? Well, black is only going to end up being driven about the board. Bishop c4 check. There he goes again. King g6. And now it looks as though checkmate is looming, doesn't it? <laughs> Queen f5. King h6, this cannot be good. And my word, look what's coming. Discovered jack. Let's take a look at that. How can black survive this? Well, he plays here. That pawn's defended by the queen, of course. But that's not going to be enough. What now? Well, of course, white takes advantage of the H-line, and now checkmate is definitely looming. There's no, no question about that. So, what does black play there? Well, he plays this. He's hitting the bishop, and he's hitting the queen. Now, we'll just carry on. This, this is after nine moves. Okay, white to play his tenth move. Can you see what most players would play in this position? Just take... The long view of it for a moment. What would you play in this position? Well, Damiano gives this, which is pretty understandable, I suppose you could say. H takes g5 check. He can't afford to touch it because he's in double check, rook and pawn, so he plays king g7. What does white do now? Well, he plays here, and of course, should black move that king again, then as can be seen, the rook is all prees. So, he sticks his knight in the way on f6. Well, white gets his knight back. No problem. Check. So the queen takes the pawn. And how does white more or less wrap up this game here? Well, he takes the queen, queen f6 check, king takes f6, 
and then bishop d5, and Damiano terminates this game and or analysis at this point with the remark, and white remains with seven pawns against four. Count them. Quite correct. It is a losing position for Blake. There is absolutely no doubt about that. However, what I propose to do is to put this position back as it was after Black's ninth move, d5. So let's just put this back for a moment. I think we have it there. Yeah, that that is the position. Just let me make absolutely sure of that. It looks right. Yeah, that, that is correct. Now, what I'm going to do at this stage is I'm going to, to set your problem and we'll follow this up with another video. The challenge is, J. H. Sowett in his translation in 1813 says that there is in fact, in this position, as an alternative to h takes g5 double check, there was a mate in four moves. A checkmate in four moves. Can you see it? We'll come back to this position. I'll leave it a couple of days to give you plenty of time. It's not obvious. So the very best of luck with this. And when I come back, we'll start with this position and I'll give you the solution to it. So the very best of luck and goodbye for now.